Imagine right now, what does the apocalyptic destroyer of worlds look like? Stop thinking, because you're wrong. It's these pudgy pink terrors. Kirby, Nintendo's floating puffball of never-ending cheer and dream. And Mario, the whimsical Italian plumber. He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Over a thousand years ago, an epic war waged throughout the universe. The legendary Star Warriors battled against the vile nightmare for the freedom of everything that ever was. Ultimately, good prevailed, but at the cost of many, many lives. Yet one infant Star Warrior escaped the carnage, destined to awaken a millennium later and save the galaxy. His name is Kirby. Hi! Wait, what? The cute and cuddly pink puffball who lives in Happy Land? Are you sure you're reading the right backstory? Yes, he crash landed on Popstar, the most confusingly shaped planet ever, and has been defending the kingdom of Dreamland ever since. But look at him! He's just so adorable and cuddly, he couldn't hurt a fly. Kirby is a ravenous cannibal who thrives on the blood of mass murder. Did you do this? Holy shit! He may not look it, but Kirby is a powerhouse. He possesses incredible strength, speed, durability, and an arsenal stranger than an average day in Florida. His trademark power is his inhale ability, which sucks almost everything in with a powerful vortex. With it, he can clear out everything from a quick meal to an acre of forest in a matter of seconds. Plus, Kirby's body is malleable, allowing him to stretch his mouth and inhale larger objects. Though he does have trouble wrapping his mouth around extremely large and heavy things. Like my dick! Kirby weighs practically nothing, allowing him to inflate his body and fly like a sentient balloon. He can also traverse the skies and outer space using his personal vehicle, the Warp Star. Which he can call up at any time on speed dial. No, really, he uses a cell phone. Somebody get me that number. I tried 1-800-PINK-RIDE, but it was something else. The Warp Star is Kirby's primary means of transportation through the universe and can fly at speeds faster than light. It is forged of Kirby's own energy, so while delicate, should it be destroyed, Kirby can easily create a new one on his own, making the cell phone kind of pointless. I'd be happy to take that phone off of his hands, though I'm a bit iffy on standing anywhere near that star-driving balloon marshmallow. Look at him! He doesn't even care! He's a monster! It's about to get even worse. Guess what just happened to that poor creature? See, when Kirby swallows a victim, they don't exactly die. Turns out Kirby's stomach is, in fact, an entirely separate and endless dimension of reality. So he never feels full. Talk about getting your money's worth at an all-you-can-eat buffet, though. Kirby can trap thousands of victims in this abyss. Then, he can actually enter his own stomach dimension and draw from his captive's power using his copy ability. How in the hell does he, like, swallow himself? He likely projects an astral image of himself within the dimension which can act on the physical plane. Sure. Anyway, with the copy ability, Kirby's form and power change based on what he's eating. By devouring an enemy with a mallet, he can become Hammer Kirby, a master of whack-a-mole. Fire Kirby can unleash a torrent of flame and survive all manner of heat. Ice Kirby freezes foes solid. Wheel Kirby is fast enough to drive around the entire kingdom of Dreamland in under two seconds. Though who knows how he can see where he's going. There's Mike Kirby, whose singing talent is apparently so awful, everything that hears it dies. Like Wiz at karaoke night with the ladies. Yeah, hey! Stone Kirby is nearly indestructible, and Sword Kirby is a master with a blade. He can even fire sword beams, which can cut through anything without mercy. Damn! But that's not all. He can pour a ton of energy into the blade and make it grow into the powerful Ultra Sword. Fighter Kirby is a master martial artist, and by inhaling a miracle fruit, he becomes Hypernova Kirby, capable of devouring worlds. Last but not least, by absorbing his own warp star, Kirby can create his ultimate weapon, the Star Rod, a magical staff powered by dreams and capable of destroying evil. And most of the moon. The only problem with Kirby's copy ability is they don't last. One bad hit and there it goes. But even without an added ability, Kirby is remarkably tough. He's powerful enough to crack a planet in half, fast enough to run on water, 
and strong enough to throw a monster 30 times his size on a frying pan all the way to the sun, circled the burning star, and returned to Kirby's feet with a perfectly cooked monster. I think that might be the most ridiculous feat we've ever seen on Death Battle. But he's not just strong. He's so tough that he was barely phased after being crushed under thousands of tons of pressure and effortlessly survived an explosion massive enough to eclipse the entire world. He's achieved all of this despite being only eight inches tall. See, it's not the size of the monster. It's how he throws a fucking humongous frying pan into the sun and back. Well, Kirby does have one crucial flaw. He's a baby and has yet to fully mature as a Star Warrior. Yeah, he's not too bright, so he's not going to be whipping up any genius strategies mid-fight. Fortunately, he's powerful enough to get away with it. Kirby is the most adorably terrifying thing in the world. Mario is one of the Star Children and possesses many special abilities with the intent of protecting his home, the Mushroom Kingdom. Even as a baby, he was obviously destined for greatness. When you got an army of dinosaurs serving you before you can even speak, you know you're gonna do great things. He is well known for his incredible athleticism and unmatched jumping ability. Who says white guys can't jump? Plus, he's a powerhouse with the strength to lift heavy objects and crush enormous castles. He also uses his bare fists to smash solid brick. With his jumping skills and weight, he can pound and crush his foes into oblivion. And if he needs some extra firepower, well, he's got an entire arsenal of power-ups. His first power-up is the Fire Flower. With it, Mario obtains pyrokinetic abilities. Really? I always thought the flower was just really spicy. He can create and manipulate fire to produce a variety of devastating attacks. He's also got this frog suit thingy. While wearing it, Mario can jump even higher, swim even faster, and breathe underwater. The only problem is, no one's really gonna take him seriously wearing that thing. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at him. Several different power-ups have granted Mario flight before, but none as well as the Cape Feather. With it, Mario can fly for an unprecedented amount of time. The Metal Cap turns Mario's entire body into indestructible living steel. But while Metal Mario is extremely heavy, his strength and speed are boosted, giving him ten times more power and just as much agility as before. The Starman envelops Mario in a blinding aura of compressed energy, granting increased speed and complete invulnerability for a short time. Touching a normal enemy in this state will instantly kill the foe. And while it's not technically a power-up, Mario has a hammer that can crush almost anything. It seems Mario's always popping shrooms to get more power. And with the Mega Mushroom, he gets ginormous. Mowing down people, plants, environment, hell, everything. Mario has battled a larger variety of enemies than any other video game hero. Whether a foe is large or small, scary or goofy, dumb or deadly, nothing has ever proved too much for him. Except for keeping track of his woman. She's always getting kidnapped and he's always showing up at the wrong castle. Somebody needs to throw a GPS tracking bracelet on that bitch. He's fairly impulsive and not much of a strategist, preferring to quickly fight his way through problems before thinking things through. But that doesn't matter. Italy's greatest hero can power through anything. It's me, Mario. Just happened. The winner is Kirby. <laughs>